So I picked up a MacBook Pro for $80 with the broken screen right here and I changed it already, the screen. It is super easy to change if you follow the step-by-step -step guide. I'm going to link it below in the description. So after fixing the screen, I ran into a couple more issues. The aim of this video is to help answer a couple of questions like how to remove the previous owner account, how to remove the encrypted hard drive without a password, and then how do you fix the blinking question mark issue, and how do you factory reset the MacBook Pro. Now I have to troubleshoot a lot of things, I have to look into all the discussions to find the answers for this, and I want to combine everything in one place. So if you run into this issue, you can easily troubleshoot and find uh, the solution easily. All right. First thing first, before you buy any Apple, Apple devices, make sure you check the following things. Make sure that you um, ask the, the seller to remove the iCloud account. Uh, remember, if they don't remove the iCloud account, then uh, it's going to be difficult for you to reset the device after you fix the issues. It's super easy. You can just ask them to go to iCloud.com and then select their devices and just remove it from their account. This usually helps them to kind of remove the iCloud account before you get the device. And if somebody cannot remove the iCloud account, then my recommendation is that you do not buy the device. You know, it could be stolen, could be something else. So it's just better not to do it. And the second thing you should check or, or you should ask is that if the hard drive is, is encrypted. In this case, I didn't ask the seller and the hard drive was encrypted and I ran into a problem. And I'm going to show you how to resolve that problem. It, it's pretty simple to fix, but it's something that I wasn't aware what to do when I encountered this issue. So let's get into it. So first thing first, um, I'm going to show you the video of, you know, of these error messages in, as well. Uh, number one. So how do I fix the encrypted hard drive issue? So after replacing the broken screen, uh, I try to restore the MacBook to factory settings so I can enter my, my own iCloud account but then I got stuck. The hard drive was encrypted and it was asking for a password to erase the device. Uh, that's how I used to do it, you know, back in the day. Uh, you could just erase the hard drive and then re reinstall the software. Um, but then I kind of freaked out and reached out to the seller, asking them to meet again and to provide the password so we can resolve this issue. So while waiting for a response, I started Googling, checking on YouTube and I found this video i'm going to link it in the description as well which is which was very helpful in that video you can click on the recovery assistance and then click erase mac so at this point i think what apple should show both options <clears throat> you know at that stage in the recovery process so either one would be for the previous owner and then the second would be for uh to show that you know you can just erase the mac so it is kind of hidden but it's there so once I once I watched that video, I was like, oh, wow, you know, you can just erase it right away. So I did go on into click on the recovery and then click on erase Mac. And that worked for me. And I was pretty excited. I was like, OK, so this is this is sorted. So it just started to erase the Mac. Um, and I can see the process started. Now, right after a few seconds, once it's done, I start to see this blinking question mark. And I was like, okay, what happened now? <laughs> I was like, oh, I broke, I broke this again. What happened? Did I do something wrong? Uh, it turns out, you know, this usually means that the, the system can't find any bootable device, you know, drive. It cannot find the system that it can load to. So what I did to restore this is that I clicked on, you know, going back to the recovery. You can go back to the recovery by clicking option plus command plus R. And then you click on install Mac OS from the menu. And then just follow the instructions that you see on the screen. That should be easy to do. So that's how you kind of resolve these two problems. If you buy or use MacBook Pro for Marketplace or from third party seller, this is this is something that you know you should know. Uh, now, one warning here, I want to put it out there. If the seller didn't remove the device from the iCloud, uh, you might get a login prompt or you might be asked to, to enter the passcode again. To avoid this, make sure that the seller remove it from the iCloud, you know, the, their device before you buy it. In my case, seller did provide the passcode 
I really appreciate that um, that they did that, but but I figured out how to erase it without getting the password, um, and that's why I'm making this guide just to make sure that people understand how to get to to solve this problem. So overall, it's not bad. I was able to you know fix these issues, and the the lesson here is that don't give up when you're trying to fix the te the tech issues. You know, it takes a little bit of time. So overall, I sp uh, you know end up spending about um, um, eighty dollar on this computer and one hundred and thirteen dollars to get a new screen from Amazon, and then in total I spent about one hundred ninety three dollars, which is pretty good to get a working laptop, um, and it's pretty awesome. I think you this is a really good computer to use instead instead of buying a MacBook Air, similar to MacBook Air. It's very lightweight, portable. Uh, but this is one of the problems that I encountered and I want to share it with you guys to make sure that if you encounter this issue, this is how you fix it.